Good morning, my name is Steven. And I'm Jaylen. And welcome to Juneau, Alaska, part two. Uh, earlier we did dog sledding and today we're going to take a tour of the city and go over to Mendenhall Glacier, which I'm kind of excited for. This is something that we kind of had in our back pockets as something we wanted to do, but we chose to do the dog sleds instead. Because we have enough time, we said, what the heck throw our money at them. <laughs> so we grabbed it, this company. We saw them, we recognized the name, so we're trying them. I've heard good things about M&M Tours. Because we were so last minute, he actually gave us a deal. It's normally $55, I think? No, normally no, it's $65 $60. a person, but he gave it to us for 50. Um, there wasn't that many people on this one, though we're gonna be cutting it a little bit close. We're gonna get back at around 7.30 and all aboard is 8.30. So although it's cutting it close, it does leave a little bit of wiggle room. And overall, I am excited. So last minute. How are you? Good. Okay. All right, we made it just in time. This bus is pretty empty. We we're the furthest back, and there's still a few rows in between us. So. Are giving the price down. I think Maybe. we were kind of more desperate to get more people. So that's why they gave us the deal. But maybe we could have gotten it down. Yeah. But I'm so happy at what we paid. Oh, heck yeah. I would just like to say, I told Steven, hey, it's we're getting off at 1 o'clock. We should run by the buffet and get a little snack before we leave because we're going to be hungry. And I knew that we were going to walk around Juno or hang out or whatever after the dog sled tour. He said, no, I'm not really hungry. I said, I know, but maybe just a little snack. He said, no, I said, fine. Guess what he just said to me? We should have eaten before we left. Dang right, who's right, who's right? You know it, your girl is right. That's all. All right, well, we're heading off on the last tour of the day. So when we leave here, I want to just point something out to you. There's a store across the street here. It's called the Alaska Shirt Company. I've been in every one of these shops. This one right here on the right, they have they, they are the fairest people when it comes to their pricing on t-shirts. They go and they look all over Alaska. Have you ever heard them say they'll pay people to live in Alaska? Yeah. If you're a full-time resident of Alaska, you get a uh, dividend check each year. It's kind of like an income tax return. If you go all the way to the end of, uh, of Douglas and all the way to the end of Juneau, either direction, this is the only connection point. Just this picture of big letter H. <laughs> there's, there's one land bridge and this is it it to a stop where there is beautiful bridges I mean beautiful stairs and a beautiful little like bridge platform thing you know me and my stairs and bridge platforms it's beautiful just finished up at our first stop or we're finishing up now it's just this beautiful platform where you can look out and see the ships and the mountains and it's just this beautiful little naturistic lookout spot really glad we stopped here though because you know me and taking photos at places like this it's my fave you know me and ships and unfortunately oceana is blocking yeah. ours because they're tendered out what is up with that rude i mean so far we're learning a lot i really enjoy it i like yes. tours like this they're yeah, always right. good the tour guide honestly it's like in in the best way possible like one thing <laughs> after another just continuously talking and pointing things out good it's eye. been magnificent yeah. apparently they pay you to live in alaska well kind of it's like a like a tax refund in a way it's uh, um, they they give you a dividend, a uh, dividend per, yeah. per head in the, or per person in the house so it's just a little extra to help you get through the rougher seasons because alaska really is a seasonal thing depending on the occupation and stuff so and i guess it comes from the oil tax that they have here but I think it, last year you said it was 3700 a person. So, I mean, living year-round might be really tough because of how cold it is, but oh my gosh, would that be nice? <laughs> Stop number two takes us to a park which has a cool little whale fountain slash statue. 
it is very cool, but we were also let off at the same time as the trolley, so now there's a lot of people here. Ooh, but there's a totem pole that no one's giving attention to. Let's go over there. So far, this the second stop has just been a quick stop. First two stops and quick stops. We're looking forward to getting to Mendenhall Glacier. That's the major thing that we're looking forward to get to. So I think that's next. But it's nice to learn a little bit about the city and what's kind of, you know, it's history. Oh, show. We already got a little sneak peek at it. Gorgeous. I'm so excited. Alrighty, well we made it to Mendenhall Glacier, which is the main attraction of this trip. This is a city and Mendenhall Glacier tour, but the city part was maybe, I don't know, about... 20 minutes? 20, well actually I guess it was more closer to 40 minutes. Well, but we had to get out here. Yeah, probably 20 minutes to get out here, and then maybe 20 minutes of the actual tour with like two five minute stops. Not that big of a deal, the city part. Honestly, this is the great part about it, but I really did like the uh, information that we got from the tour guide. Yes, I think I saw bald eagles on the way. So that's I just really cool. Because he huh. pointed out, he said, look for white balls in the trees. And I did, and I saw like seven. So much nature. I'm actually so excited to be here. This is where we wanted to spend most of our day. An hour and a half is not that long, but this is our second tour for the day. So honestly, it's enough. And yesterday was a long day. Yes. But Jim, he's great. He's our tour guide, or he's our bus driver. He's doing fantastic. Nothing against Jim. Just a really short city part of the tour. The real part is just about to begin. Thankfully they have a little bit of a map for us to kind of figure out where we want to go. They do have a visitor center in case you aren't too interested in walking a lot. Okay, so we got two options. We got Photo Point, which is a 15 minute trail. Should get us a good photo. Or we got Nugget Falls, which will be about a 55 minute trail. And I goes think there you can back. see the falls and be able to see the glacier. So, Nugget Falls Trail is about an hour. This one's about 15 minutes. I say we, since we have an hour and a half, we do the falls, see where we're at, and then depending, maybe get a little bit of the, the photo trail. One thing to mention is there are other trails as well that do take a lot more time that you can consider doing. If you have more time than we do, uh, Steep Creek, East Glacier, Trail of Time, those are other ones there, depending on which one it is. There's one for two and a half hours, there's one that's 30 minutes, one that's 20 minutes, but I think we know which one we want to do. So let's waterfall. go. Waterfall, since we didn't get to do the waterfall one yesterday. Okay, so we discovered something new about Mendenhall. So there are some areas that require you to buy a pass, others do not. Photo Pass is actually one of them, so we probably will not be doing it, or we'll talk about how much it is if we do end up doing it. Let's see. $5. Five dollars per person. Oh, so that's really not too bad. Yeah, so if we decide to do that one, five dollars, not bad at all. Otherwise, we want to do the waterfall first anyways, so, and that one does not have a fee. That one was highly suggested by our drivers, so that's why we're going to do it. Yes, and we should have plenty of time, so let's get it started. to the waterfall. Just kidding. This is actually just a, a little kind of waterfall. We heard water and we thought that that was the end. And we're like, that's only been 10 minutes. No, it's not. That's just a tease. So while I have you here, I just want to really quickly talk about the other options that you might have had. Uh, one, you could do this tour through a cruise line. I'm sure it's a little bit more money, probably more closer to $70 a person, but then you have the guarantee of the cruise line. We did M&M Tours, which is a private company, but they also actually offer a expressway, meaning you can take it, no tour, no city portion of the tour, for $45 there and back round trip. And every 20 minutes, there will be a bus that comes back so you can leave at your own leisure whenever you're ready. The last bus today leaves at 710, which is only five minutes later than our bus, meaning that we have no option but to be on time today, which is okay, because we don't want to miss our ship. If 
we were to have come earlier, we could have taken M&M Tours Expressway back. We didn't have to hop back on the orange bus. That's just a good tour. So it's $20 difference, you're paying the extra to get the city tour and then either way you're coming back regardless if it's on the green bus which is the expressway or the orange bus which is the tour bus that we took. But I think we're gonna stick to Jim and the orange bus so that way we can be safe. Alrighty, so quick update. I actually, um. I'm kind of embarrassed to say this. I lost my key card. It was on my hip that I always keep it on. I saw Jalen put hers away and I was like, oh, I need to do that. We have some pretty intense stuff going on today. And I just completely forgot. And it's no longer there. It's missing. I, I, there's no way I could really focus in on this video. So Jalen will be taking the reins for the rest of this portion while I just kind of sit and stew the in my own silence. The or the falls? Really sad at the moment. I can see the waterfalls up above. All right, we made it to our first viewpoint of the falls and it is spectacular. This is a higher up view. You can see quite a bit of the falls and just a sliver of the glacier. However, I see people down on the beach down there, so we are gonna go check that out. Oh my God. This waterfall is the biggest waterfall I have ever seen. It is huge. So although the view of this waterfall is immaculate and I highly, highly, highly recommend you making the little walk out here, the glacier is a bit farther away. You can see bits and pieces of it. However, you cannot see the whole thing or a large part of the thing. Still a great view to see as a bonus to the waterfall, but this place is definitely waterfall driven. All right, we are gonna make our way back towards the visitor center and where the buses are. I have about 25 minutes left on my timer and I set that for 15 minutes before the bus just to ensure we have plenty of time. It'll be about a 30 minute walk back and then maybe we'll pop onto that Mendenhall Glacier Trail or find a little side trek here that will show us the glacier a bit better. So we actually found this little side trail that leads us out a little bit further out and further back, which shows us a beautiful view of the glacier. Probably can't see it on this camera, but we're gonna, you know, you know the drill. So we made it out to this little viewpoint and holy wow, can you see that glacier? It is a beautiful sight to see. We came further back because the rock kind of blocked it from up there. So although we were closer up there, back here is a way better view. And it's a view I'm enjoying. It's crazy. The waterfall and the glacier are basically the same thing. Just one is frozen. And by that, I mean a glacier is just a frozen river. It is always moving. It's not this block of ice that you think it is. And so when I'm looking at the waterfall and I'm looking at the glacier, they have the same form down the mountain. It's just one is of ice and one is of pure water. It's beautiful. <laughs> All right, so we decided to risk it and take this little side trail. And then, oh my God, look at that glacier, sorry. And then we realized that there might not be a path back to the path. But we did just find this little clearing. Hope there's not a bear in there. We did have to pass two creeks though. Like one right there that's dried up and there's another one passed over that way. It was a far trek and we were kind of getting worried. We might yeah. turn back and you know go all the way back that way towards the falls and then find another trail that leads back. But I think we got it. I, yeah, I, I hope so. I hope, we're not sure. This is documentation in case we go missing. This is where we messed up at the end. Okay, I'm actually I say we go back over there. What's this path take you to? Okay, this really is documentation in case we go missing. Back to where we were. 
not to the trail we needed to be on. Look, there's a kid. <laughs> the sign of wildlife. It's the majestic child. Okay, I saw a person. I see the bridge right there. Oh yeah, we crossed that bridge and I just saw a person walking her child. So I thought it was a dog at first. Turns out it was a kid, bird. Um, so I think if I'm not mistaken, we are finally back on path. You know, actually this was a side path I wanted to take on my way there. And I said, no, we're gonna go to the falls and then maybe we'll come back and do it if we have time. So for those of you a little confused, this is the path that we took on the way in. Boom, 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 all the way over to the falls. Then we walked along this beachfront and we ended up right here. Um, with a little detour through the bushes. It does work out in the end. You just gotta have faith. Trust. It's just a, a little bit of pixie dust. Time constraints is uh, what worries us. Because if, say, it didn't work out and we had to walk all the way back, we'd be done. Yes, but it worked out, so we're fine. And now you guys know how to see a magnificent waterfall and gorgeous glacier all in one little walk. So last minute thing, we came off this little path that's right near the entrance to both those trails. And actually there's a little beach area where you can walk down. And It's uh, actually also gorgeous. You don't even have to go on that hike to see the uh, glacier, but the waterfall was definitely worth it. Here's a few pics of what we took in selfie mode and of ourselves in the brief amount of time that we did have, because now we have five minutes to get back to the bus and... It's right there. We are fine. We're right there. Chilling. I know. Chilling. But still. <sighs> we've made it back. And we've made it back before the bus got here, which is ultimately the goal. And you can still see the glacier and I just can't get over it. <laughs> so pretty. All right, the bus is pulling in now, so it's time to hop aboard and get it, get back to the ship. We will talk about more of this area later in kind of a review. And we're also gonna talk about how Steven lost his card and what we do to uh, fix that situation because we do not want to be waving him goodbye from the Warner's balcony. That would not be very fun. There he is right there though, the orange bus. Time to go home. Amazing yeah. Hey, I lost my cruise card. Did you happen to find it on the bus? Or did anyone turn Are you it in? Pong? Yeah. <gasps> I found it. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I was much. back there looking to see if anybody left anything. Just just like 10 minutes ago, I'm like, Pong, and I, I, I had, I've had a lot of Asian names. And I kept, uh -huh. thinking, I kept thinking, now what group was that in? All right, so I know that you guys were excited to see what happens if you lose your cruise card. But unfortunately, you're gonna have to wait a little longer because we found it. It was on the bus. That's all. Goodbye to the orange bus, we'll see you real soon, but I am so happy we made it. It's currently 7.30, dinner is at 7.45. The rest, about to say rest that. of the family is going to be waiting for us. It smells good right here, oh my gosh. Do you say weird or good? Good. Okay, good. I'm like, because this smells good. I am starving. <laughs> there's a place that he suggested, I think that place right over there. Yeah, Grizz Bar. Grizz Bar, uh, direct, that's recommended by Jim. We're going to get back on board though, because we're cutting it close. So I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Patsy Ann. This is her statue. She was a dog who would greet all the cruise ships coming in back in the day. The one who always greeted all the ships. I believe she was deaf, so she couldn't yeah. hear. But as soon as the ship would come into the harbor, she would know and she would greet them no matter what she was doing. And if they were uh, docked out in the ocean, then uh, she would maybe even go swim out to them. Yeah. So we're gonna get back on board, eat dinner, because we are starving. We haven't eaten since this morning. It's hard to believe that we woke up at 5 in the morning to do Endicott Arm That's to see Dawes Glacier. So <laughs> then we did a dog sledding tour right before this tour and we hopped on this one last minute. We'll talk all about so, this tour that we just did. Do we have three different videos for today? We have three different videos for today. Wow, be sure to check all three out if you want to see how Juno Alaska went because that's insane. <laughs>
And I'm tired, so let's just get back on board. Please. We'll go through security and we'll check back after. Welcome, Welcome back. Welcome to Icon America. What, what's this one called? Welcome back to American Icon <laughs> for a Taste of USA. I was almost there. So tonight was Taste of USA, and because we had such a long day, we really didn't record too much. We did end up liking a lot of what we had, but that was probably because we were really hungry. Though I didn't record the main meals, I did catch this. This is what I live for. <laughs> Makes it all One, two, two more, three, four. This isn't even going in a video. I'm just recording it because I'm so proud. <laughs> What's on my ice cream though? <laughs> okay, so we have made it back to the cabin, back on board, all safe and sound. I know we're going to be a little tired during this review. Give us a break. This is after a glacier day, two excursions in Juneau. It's, it's been a lot. I'm kind of we're trying tired. to just gather stuff. So we did a city tour of Juneau and we went to Amendenhall Glacier with M&M Tours. It was a $65 tour. We actually got it for a little bit cheaper, so that all worked out because we were on the last bus. You saw it was empty. It was just pretty much us and eight other people. It was a fantastic experience, by the way. Um, but not normally how that experience would be. It was definitely worth the $65. i am glad that we got it for $50. Maybe if you're one of the last tours of the day, you might be able to get that deal. Or maybe they're just really kind and you can negotiate and work them down on depending on how demand is going. So what I loved about the city tour is we learned so many facts. It was really fun. And we even got to make two stops, which I didn't know was gonna happen. So that was a really exciting little thing we got to do. And we learned so much history. I really thought it was a great way to wrap up some of our time in Juneau. Yeah, and then Mendenhall Glacier was the best part of it. It was a breathtaking view of a glacier. And it could arm in Dawes Glacier was nice, but Mendenhall was just that much more spectacular because we were able to get, uh, I feel like, a lot more closer in that national park. Yeah, what I really love too is that you really didn't have to go on a hike to get a great view of the glacier. Just from the welcome sign, you got a wonderful view. Then you can walk down just a slight hill to almost this beachy area. Also a great view. You can also go to the visitor center, see it from there. None of those require a lot of walking, which is super nice because if you don't want to go on an hour long hike, you don't have to. I think that this tour is fantastic for anyone who just loves nature, loves scenery, loves the glaciers themselves. This is a tour where you get a little bit of everything. You get the city tour, you get the, you get the glacier. Um, an hour and a half, I didn't feel like it was long enough, but the cool thing that they do, unfortunately we weren't able to utilize it since we were the last tour, they do let you hop on their express bus to return back to the port if you wanted to spend longer than an hour and a half. An hour and a half was probably enough for us because of how tired we are, but I definitely think we want to go back to Mendenhall Glacier just to spend a full day, go on one of the earlier buses there, and enjoy the park. There are just so many different trails and so many different things. We didn't even go to the visitor center in this video, which makes me sad, but that's all for next time. I feel like there's so many different options you could do, or you could spend a full day there. I'm definitely glad we decided to go on a hike to the waterfall because that was absolutely spectacular. It only took an hour or maybe even less. So don't let timing scare you because if we had enough time, chances are you have enough time. Yeah, and we aren't the fastest people in the world and we do love taking pictures and videos and just getting distracted all the trail along. So <laughs> we, we think that most people can do it. It was a very easy hike, definitely worth doing, I'm sure. I, I'm sure the videos convinced you otherwise whether you should do it or not. If you're not in love with the video, get out of here! I hope that this review helped you in deciding whether it's worth it and this video in general uh, help you decide what to do because Juno has so many options. It was extremely hard for us to narrow it down, which is why we did two different excursions. So hopefully this helped. I hope you enjoyed today's video, everything that we did. Etiquette Arm and Dawes Glacier, the sled dogs in Mendenhall Glacier. We're gonna combine tomorrow's sea day and the first half of the day because we get to Victoria late on the last day. That'll all be explained in tomorrow's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video and please continue joining along with us for our Alaska series. Thank you so much for watching. As always, this isn't a goodbye, but just a, a see, see you real soon. soon.